What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Libra, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general oracle card reading for mid June of 2022 from Sana Libra. This could resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven to your chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free oracle card reading. These are psychic, intuitive messages. So it's very, very, very important to only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Just want to make make that very abundantly clear. Okay. One message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. None may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and with the rest. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 13,330, I'm sorry, no, 13,030 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below, if you feel guided to donate. Um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my heart chakra, I really, really, really do. I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your energy for mid-June of 2022. So I'm going to, going to go ahead and deliver them. I know it's 6-6-2022, uh, but a lot of these messages I've been pulling in have been futuristic channel messages uh, from the spiritual realm. So I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get early start um, for mid-June. So if hopefully you can view the channel, uh, not view the channel, view the reading, and if it resonates for you, um, you will get it before it happens. That's what I'm hoping here. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, so the channel mess. the first one I heard was, um, um, oh shoot, hold on, I have a brain fart. Ah! Give me a second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A huge uproar um, coming in a city soon is what I heard. A huge uproar coming in a city soon. And the second one I heard, um, newsworthy, newsworthy. So you plug in and how it resonates, some kind of huge uproar coming in a city soon and um, newsworthy. So you plug it in your own life, how it resonates. Um, and in Libra's last Oracle Heart reading, I had like a, there was um, a riot, angry riot or a peaceful protest energy. So I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of huge uproar coming in the city soon and newsworthy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, you, I mean, however that resonates for you, I feel for a lot of you guys are going to be on the sidelines watching this huge uproar. It could be the peaceful protest or the angry riot energy for some. For some, it could be some other kind of huge uproar. For some, it could be... Um, strike energy i'm feeling for some it could be strike energy like at a facility or a plant or a unit or a some you know some kind of strike energy i didn't hear strike i'm just kind of feeling strike energy for some for some it could be um fighting for peacefully hopefully i'm hoping fighting for rights liberties and um some kind of injustice energy and standing up for one's rights liberties and freedoms in a healthy copacetic way for some, it could be anything else, but some kind of huge uproar in the city soon. Uh, sounds like it's upcoming. So, only you know your story, not anybody else. I feel for a lot of you guys, you're on the sidelines of this. For some, you could organize a peaceful protest. Uh, for some, you could be um, the newscaster about to newscast this. For I mean, however you plug in this situation, is, I, guess, I guess is what I'm trying to say, okay? Only you know your story, not anybody else, Libra. We have rabbit and hawk, haystack, you will reap what you sow, bow, you are highly thought of, December. Spirit message that you have for Sana Libra. For some, you could be dealing with a um, earth sign and an air sign, another air sign. If you are, they could have a fourth Capricorn Virgo. Or um, Aries, I'm um, not Aries. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with the Aries. Or um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammond, Jupiter charts, if you are. 
I said Aries. I didn't hear Aries. For some, you could be dealing with the Aries, possibly. Spirit messages. Okay. Number 18 could be a very significant number on one's life. Number 18. Or number 36. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life. 18 or 36. But um, some kind of huge um, events happening in a city soon. I'll tell you that. Um, and it sounds like people are about to be loud and proud and they are about to um, voice their opinions very publicly on something. Now, whatever in the world it is, I'm not sure. But they, they're about to do it very loud and proud, very publicly, hopefully in a peaceful protest s type energy. But for some, it could be some kind of riot energy. For some, I feel it might be strike energy. I didn't hear that, but it might be. Okay, rabbit. Cheating is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Evidence. Private investigator. Oh, Lord. I heard cheating is about to become very significant in a Libra's life soon. Evidence. Private investigator. So you plug it in how it resonates. And you know, energies can be reversed. So... Only you know if you're a cheater or you're connected to a cheater. Um, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to that's a cheater. But there's a cheater out there in the universe somewhere. I'll tell you that. Um, and it sounds like a private investigator is already onto them or they are about to be onto them. And it sounds like they're about to collect some kind of evidence or they already have. However, that resonates. Now, rabbits are very indicative of sexual energy. Um, like the rat, you know, it's no fun when the rabbit has the gun. That kind of that saying. Well, doing it like doing it like a rabbit, they're very indicative of sexual energy. Very. So in this aspect, it's cheating, sexually cheating. Um, I'm feeling whoever this is, it's cheating. Whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, they're they're married. I think they're legally married for some. I didn't hear they were, but I feel for some they are legally married, or they are in a committed relationship where they should not be cheating. I don't feel this is polyamorous type energy i feel this is legal commitment like i'm legally married to you and if you break the marriage contract i can get you for infidelity kind of energy is what i'm feeling um for some it might not be but there's a reason a private investigator is about to get involved already is involved um i think it's because it's a binding legally binding contract and somebody's about to come after somebody for infidelity I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning. For some, it could be another air sign investigator or earth sign investigator. Private, I heard private investigator. Um, for some, you might be the one about to hire the private investigator. And for some, it could be an earth sign or an air sign you're about to hire. Or it could be an earth sign or an air sign cheater. Um, only you know you're storing out anybody else. But some kind of private investigator energy and some kind of evidence. Whether it's about to come up in the universe or it already has. Um, you plug that in, how that resonates, Libra. Woo. Video evidence. For some, it's sex videos. For some, it's private investigator evidence videos. For some, it's sex videos. For some, it's private investigator evidence videos. So, Sex energy, sex video energy, uh, cheating, scandalous um, energy. Um, I think of, y'all know the um, movie um, with the sexy rabbit, was her name? Um, oh, my Lord. Um, it was way back in the day when I was a kid. But it was a, a cartoon, but it really it was a very adult cartoon. But it had a sexy, very sexy, seductive rabbit in there. Um what was, um, I can't remember the name of it. That's what this reminds me of. The sexy, seductive rabbit, rabbit in that very adult cartoon. 
Um, I can't remember the name of the movie, but um, yeah. Sex video energy and um, some kind of private investigator video energy, whether it's upcoming in the universe or it's already here. You plug it in how it resonates. Woo we Hawk. A divorce is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For some, you want this. For some, you don't. And a settlement. Okay. I heard a divorce and a settlement is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For some, you want the divorce. For some, you don't. And I don't know about the settlement energy. I don't know if you want. I mean, for some, I feel you could be the one receiving the settlement or you'd be hoping someone getting get a settlement. Um... Oh, that resonates but for the divorce energy for some you want the divorce for some you don't so for some i feel you're about to get divorced or you're about to ask someone for a divorce um or it could be somebody you're connected to but i feel at least for one or at least two you're about to get the divorce for some you want the divorce so i feel you're going to ask the um, your other party for the divorce for some you don't want the divorce and the other party is going to ask you um but for some you could be connected to somebody about to go through a divorce you plug it in how it resonates for some it could be an earth sign or an air sign um you're about to um a divorce or they're about to divorce you and a settlement a settlement's about to become significant in a libra's life too now whether you help somebody get a settlement or whether the settlement is coming to you only you know your story not anybody else okay it could be an earth sign or an air sign regarding the settlement energy um or any other sign hawk Stalking is about to be revealed to a Libra soon. For some, a Libra is stalking. Many negative series of chain events are about to come to the Libra stalker. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. It's heavy stalking energy. And, you know, hawks, they stalk their prey. They, I literally, they stalk their prey via aerial, the air. They stalk their prey, stalk their prey, then they swoop down. And get it fast and quick um for some you're about to be notified of stalking um so i don't think you're the stalker in that situation i think you somebody else's stalker and you're about to be notified of, of stalking somebody else stalking somebody else that's crazy people do hashtag live free just saying but for one of you libras i heard you're stalking somebody you are stalking somebody, and I heard basically many negative series of chain events are about to occur for you, stalker Libra, whoever you are. Now, you can be masculine or feminine for the, those messages, however that applies, but nobody should stalk anybody, period, point blank. And that's just the truth. Um, for the stalker Libra or the other person stalking somebody, and the Libra is about to find out, I feel they're be, they're taking on the Hulk energy. They could be, an, um, I heard it's de a Libra is definitely stalking somebody, but it could be in, any other sign stalking somebody where you're about to find this out, Libra. They, I think they're, they're casing their prey, like a hawk does aerial, is what I'm saying. Because the hawk's aerial stalks their prey, then they swoop down, and they get it, and boom. That's how the hawks do it. Um, in the, just saying, just saying, in the food chain. Um, I feel whoever this is, whether it's this stalkery Libra or somebody else, I think they're casing their victim is what I'm saying. I think they're they're stalking the hell out of them. They're they're watching them, they're lurking them, they're I mean casing them. For some they could be driving by their home or watching their social media platform or just like obsessed with them. Just like it's like it reminds me of the Mariah Carey song. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, you wanna know. No, 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 but no. You plug it in how it resonates. For so, so for some you're the stalker, for some you're not. You can be masculine or feminine, but 
for just know if you are the stalker, it's going to backfire on you. Just to let you know, whoever you are and how that applies. But for one, you're about to be notified of some kind of stalking of either you or somebody else. Five that resonates. Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Psychic abuse is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. For some, one Libra, they're going to speak on this psychic abuse. For one, they're going to report it. For one, you are the one abusing the psychic. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. So psychic abuse is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Um, you have to plug yourself in on what aspect you resonate. Are you the high vibrational side or the low vibrational side? Do you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, integrity, and ethics, or do you not? Um, if you're abusing a psychic, that's obviously not high vibrational behavior. That is low vibrational behavior. Just to let you know. Um, for some, you're about to speak on the psychic abuse. So you are high, vib high vibrational Libra, if that resonates for you. you. You're about to speak on psychic abuse. Either you are psychic and you're about to speak on the abuse somebody has placed on you or you know somebody another psychic that's been abused and you're about to speak on it how that resonates how vibrational leaves the other situation you're about to report it whether you have been abused you're psychic and you've been abused or you know another psychic that's been abused i feel official reporting energy here like police or feds or something of that nature so high vibrational activity for one, Libra, you are low vibrational. You have abused a psychic. You have. Um, so you have to plug yourself in on where you are at, where you're at in the karma wheel. Is the karma bus coming knocking for you and because your karma bank's overflowing in the negative side? Or are are you are you high vibrational and you're good and you're about to pay it forward to somebody and you don't have your karma bank filling up because you're not going around abusing psychics and doing very low vibrational things um you plug it in how it resonates so you're on the good side of karma or the low side of, uh, or the bad side of karma basically you have to plug yourself in where you resonate A very significant, huge money loss is very significant in a Libra's life. Very significant. For one, it's already happened. For one, it's upcoming. Okay, I heard a very significant um, money loss is very significant in a Libra's life. For one, the huge money loss has already happened. For one, it's upcoming. And it sounds like it's about to happen. So that, I mean... I think that's in the that's karma too um i think one of you guys is about to lose a very large amount of money but i think it might be bad investment or something negative you've done to person people place family or situation for some it could be the psychic abuse for some it could be something else but um, somehow this very very large money loss is i feel tied into negative karma here in some shape form or fashion uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. For some, it involves false documentation. For some, it's gambling. For some, it involves false documentation. For some, it involves gambling. So the huge money loss for whoever these low vibrational leapers are. For some, it involves false documentation. For some, it involves gambling. So you plug it in how it resonates, Libra, if that resonates for you. Bo, you are highly thought of. A particular law dog lawyer, Libra, is about to get high honor, about to really, really fight for a client, and they will win. About to get publicly recognized for this, very publicly recognized. It's going to be very public. Wow, this is beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, Leaves. So you're a Libra lawyer. You could um, have Libra in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Manhattan, Jupiter charts. You are about, you, I feel you could be masculine or feminine. 
uh, whoever you are. I heard you're a Libra law dog, a lawyer. So you're a law dog. So you don't mess around. You do not mess around. Um, you fight for your clients. Um, I mean, you fight for them. You don't lollygag. You don't, oh, like timid. You fight. You fight for them. Not physical fighting, but, you know, in a very copacetic manner here, whoever you are. Um, I heard you're about to fight for one of your clients soon. Uh, I feel in a trial energy or the court of law or what have you. Um, I heard you're about to win. You are about to win. It hasn't happened yet, but it sounds like it's upcoming. Um, I heard you are going to win, and I heard when you do, it's going to be very, very, very public. So, it sounds like people are about to be interested in this. Um, it sounds like many people are about to be, and it's going to give you public recognition um, because you won this case for this client. How this resonates. It is going to give you huge up in your career. Huge. And it's going to really, really, really propel this client in a huge positive way. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, so that could be the karma too. So I heard it's going to give you a huge, huge up in your career. So it's about to promote your career and excel your career in a positive way, law dog, Libra, lawyer. Um, and it's going to give your client an up too. So a leg up and a propel up, probably maybe in their career for some, maybe in some other way. For some, I'm feeling that it might be money for them. Um, and probably money for you too. Um, or, well, I heard public recognition for you, but I'm sure you, uh, obviously you will get paid, obviously, but it's about to excel your career because you're about to win this case. You're about to win it. Um, about to wipe the floor. About to wipe the floor is what I heard. My God. So you've got some kind of evidence. I think you've got some kind of evidence. You're about to use it or you've got some kind of witness or witnesses and you're about to use them or subpoena energy or something of that nature, or maybe a combination. But I heard you're about to wipe the floor and it's going to propel your career in a very positive way. Lots of public attention and publicity is going to come to you and this client. It is about to propel both of you in huge ways. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I heard lots of public publicity. So publicity, say that five times fast. Public publicity is about to come to you and this client. So it's about to be positive not only for you, law dog, Libra, lawyer, but for the client. And it's going to propel both of you. It sounds like career and money and other ways and huge positive ways here. Um, I heard you're going to wipe the floor. So you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So positive karma in this aspect, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. This is beautiful. Another Libra is about to reveal very important information on a, an abuser Libra. About to create many negative series of chain of events for them. Another Libra is about to reveal very important information on an abuser Libra. It's going to um, create many negative series of chain of events for them. So, you know, you're a high vibrational Libra. If that message resonates for you, you're about to reveal. Sounds like you haven't done it yet. You're about to reveal very important information on an abuser Libra. So a low, low vibrational Libra. Heard it's going to create many negative series of chain of events for them. Sounds like you haven't done it yet. You're about to. So only you know your story now. Anybody else, you plug it in how it resonates. But you know of an abuser Libra, a low vibrational one. It could be one that's, that um, has psychic uh, abuse somebody or just abuse somebody. Because, you know, you can abuse somebody in many different forms, mentally, physically, financially, verbally, spiritually, i.e. psychic abuse. You plug it in how it resonates. December. Someone that lied to you in December of 2021 and told you someone was dead, it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. Know this. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in, how it resonates. Why did, in hell did somebody tell you somebody was dead? Uh, I'm sure, obviously, for their their um, selfish gain, obviously. But whoever this person is, it could have been Earth sign or Air sign that lied to you and said, that somebody was dead or it could have been any other sign but 
However that resonates, if that message applies for you, somebody lied to you. I heard in December of 2021. So, you know, December 2021. So about approximately a half a year ago. And they told you somebody else was dead. Now, whoever it is they told you was dead, you have to plug that in your life out resonates. But I heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. So, well, and it should. They shouldn't have lied and told you this person was dead. Whoever you are and how this applies. So this is a person lying to you in December of 2021, telling you this person was dead, but they're really not. They're sound like they're still living. They're definitely still living. You know this. They're definitely still living. You know this. So they told you this person was dead, but you definitely know they're not. Heard it's about to seriously backfire on them. And it should, because nobody, I mean, there's slander. There's defamation of character. There's lawsuits for defamation of character, i.e. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, for goodness sakes. Um, he won 10 million off of that, just let you know. 10 million. Um, but nobody, I don't care if you're going to go in the court of law for defamation of character or slander or not, you shouldn't do it. And that is... That's extreme. When you say somebody's dead, that's not just defamation of character. That's like that, that saying they're off the freaking planet. Um, they're in the other realm, and they're not. It should backfire on them. Lord, praying mantis. A Libra is about to take huge steps and remove a succubus water sign energy from their life. Huge steps. For some requesting a transfer in their company. For some not speaking to them, family. For some, it's an ex-lover. For some, it's a current lover. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Ooh. For some, it's a doppelganger. Identity fraud. And theft. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Dear Lord. So if this resonates for you, you've got some kind of selfish water sign succubus energy in your life. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, mask on our fem, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, fem, and Hame, and Jupiter, charge. You plug it in how it resonates. But for some, it's your current lover. For some, it's your former lover. For some, it's um, a doppelganger, identity thiefer, and frauder. For some, it is a, a family member. For some, it is a co-worker you're going to request a transfer away from is what it sounds like. So in this aspect, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. In this aspect, the praying mantis is the succubus energy, succubus water sign energy. It can be masculine or feminine, uh, masculine or feminine water sign energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, feminine, having Jupiter charts. But it sounds like you're about to take action to get away from this person. Whether you're not going to speak to them in a family situation, you're going to request a transfer away from them in a company, or you block. I feel blocking energy with the current lover or the former lover, or the identity thiever and fraud person, um, however you separate yourself from this person and however you know this person, hopefully you report their ass for being an identity thiever and a frauder. Um, and I'm serious. that That's federal charge after federal charge after federal charge. Just anybody doesn't know that. So this is the succubus energy, water sign energy. Um, praying mantises, they pray. What they do is they have sex with the, um, they, okay, so Praying mantises, they lure their partner, sexual partner in, in this very seductive dance they do, right? They lure them in, but to have sex with them. But when they have sex with them, they basically eat their head off, um, from my knowledge, um, and they kill them. Um, so this person's like a praying mantis on people is what I'm saying. I heard that energy suck. I mean, I'm not saying they're going around ripping people's heads off, but I think they do the sexy dance, like the sexy dance around people. Like they're very, people like to be around them. They like to be around them. They're fun and easygoing, but they're specifically and strategically like that in the universe to do their little dance 
to lure people in. I mean, hell, for, for goodness sake, one of you guys has a damn identity thief and fraud or a doppelganger around you. They got away with identity theft and frauding? I mean, they should already be in behind prison bars. So what I'm saying is I think they do their little seductive dance in the universe like a praying mantis does on their sex girl partner there before they eat their head off. So you plug it in how it resonates. So this is energy sucking here. If that resonates for you. But um, you're about to take great action there. Thank God. Because this person is not in a good energy. Um, I heard it's a water sign energy. They could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, or Jupiter, Charles. And that could be karma for them when you take great action to get away from them. Um, however you do that. Hey. Child. A secret child is about to be revealed to a Libra. For some, you are the grandparent. For some, you are the baby mama. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a secret child is about to be revealed to a Libra. For some, you're the grandparent. For some, you're the baby mama. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So for some, you're the baby mama, Libra, and a, a secret child's about to be revealed to you. It's not your child, obviously. It's not your kid, but it's it sounds like your baby daddy's kid, and they're about to reveal they have another kid um, is what I'm feeling here for some of you guys. For some, um, and I feel they probably have many kids. For some of these people, they probably have many kids in the universe, and I hate to say that. So for some, I hate to say this, but I feel it's just another notch in their belt. And I hate to say that, but that's what I'm feeling for some. I'm just being real. For some, you're the grandparent. So I feel you're a grandparent of the secret child or a grandparent of the sperm player. Um, how that resonates. And you're about to find out about another secret child um, that they're popping out. How that resonates. Oh, my Lord. Someone that has not been paying child support for some on one child, for some on two plus children, you're about to learn they're about to be sentenced to prison. For some, they're about to go to jail over this. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. Woo! Well, you should be paying your child support, and that's just the truth for real, for real. So, if this resonates for you, somebody's not paying child support. I, I don't feel it's you. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, they're, not, they're not paying child support. It's at least two situations in the universe. Um, I heard for some, they're about to end up in jail over this. So they're not paying child support. Somebody's about to report them. They're not paying child support. And I think it's about to create a series of chain of events to wind them up in jail for situation one. It could be you that's about to create these series of chain of events or somebody else. Only you know you're storing anybody else. But somebody knows somebody's not paying child support and they're about to take action here, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Situation two, somebody, it sounds like they're already in jail over this. And I heard through many series of chain events, they will be sentenced to prison. So you're about, I think you're about to find out about this, um, that they're about to be sentenced to prison. I mean, that's cool. So not paying child support on child. For some, I heard it was one child. For some, it's two or two plus children. Um, not paying child support, not taking care of their kids. And that's not cool, man. That's not cool. I don't care if you stay with the person or not. You need to take, you need to support your child, child children. And that's just the truth. And whoever this is, they're not doing it. So you plug it in how it resonates. It could be any sign I'm feeling with that. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Distant horizons reverse. Things are about to start happening very, 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 very fast in a Libra's life. Very fast. For some, it was not, things were not happening fast. And they are about to start happening fast. Some in a positive aspect, some in a negative aspect. For some, it's regarding home businesses. For some, it's regarding legal matters. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. So, speeding up energy. Eight of Wands with like the 555 energy. Eight of Wands creating the 555 to change. Um, fast energy. Very fast energetic movement. 
fast, fast, fast. I heard for some of these situations, it was just, it was like snail's pace. It was not moving. It was not moving. It was not moving either in a positive aspect or a ne negative aspect, like st stuck, stagnant energy or just slowly putting energy, how that resonates. Um, and I feel this is for you, if this resonates for you. Um, and I feel, like I said, I feel this fast energy can either go positive in your favor or not. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates because there are some positive, some negative. Some is regarding home businesses. Some is regarding um, legal matters. So whether you're taking a person or people to the court of law in some kind of legal matters, or somebody's taking you, or home business. So I feel you have a home business and it's about to go up, or you have a home business and it's about to go down. So only you know, like revenue, revenue up or revenue down. That's what I'm feeling with the home business energy. But only you know your story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in, however that resonates and applies in one's life, Libra. And one Libra is has gained huge respect for a Leo feminine, huge. They're about to pay it forward to this person in a huge way. Okay, wow, that's beautiful. And I heard one Le one Libra, so at least one of you guys out there. Um, you've I heard you've gained huge respect for a Leo fem. Um, so they could have you know, whoever this Leo fem is in your life, you have to plug them in how they resonate. They could have Leo in their Sun Moon Rising Venus or feminine in Jupiter charts, but they're definitely a fem energy. I heard you've gained huge respect for them. I feel for some you didn't have respect for them in the past, um, for some reason, or you just didn't see something and now you do and you're gaining huge respect for them, how that resonates and applies. But how that applies, you're seeing something now that you didn't see, I think, in the past. And it's causing you to gain huge respect for them or you've already gained huge respect for them because you've already seen it or you're about to see it, how that resonates. Um, but how that resonates, I heard you're about to pay it forward to them. You're about to pay it forward to them in some shape, form, or fashion. So you're about to put out positive karma to this Leo feminine and pay it forward. Um, and you're very highly thought of. I think this Leo feminine is going to think very highly of you. And they, for some, I think they already think highly of you. And for some, they might not, because maybe y'all had a falling out in the past or a disagreement or didn't see eye to eye or something of that nature. But you paying it forward to them is about to make them see you highly, think highly of you, possibly for some. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It's a Leo feminine. They could have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here and Jupiter charts. But fast energy here. It's an upcoming. It's about to come fast. Distant horizons upright is like futurist energy. It's it's either long distance communication or it's far out in the future energy. This is it's coming. It's coming soon. Soon energy. It's reversed. It's coming soon. Whether this is in a positive aspect with the um home business energy, or the legal matters. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Let me see if I hear anything else. A patient lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. A patient lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Libra's life, is what I just heard. A patient lawsuit. So you could be the patient, or you could be a medical professional taking care of this patient, or is about to take care of this patient, um, or you could be a family member of this patient, um, or you could be the legal team about to represent this patient. All of that resonates. Um, but some kind of patient lawsuit is about to become very significant in a Libra's life no matter what spectrum you're on in this situation here. You plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped. And if you think anyone else um, could benefit from my channel or like my channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. It has helped support a single mom with two kids and one of her income streams. So I really appreciate all the love and support to my business. All right. Love you guys so much and namaste.